Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So actually, I posted a picture of my recent success with the Tornado 8 a few days ago. And yeah, a lot of people asking me how to do it and they, they all have tried it and they, they most of them have failed because they don't know how to do it correctly. Like you, I also tried many times and failed but I figured it out finally. All the videos that I watch online, right, they don't actually like tell you how to do it. They just show you the results. I know, right? People are trying to figure it out. Actually, it's quite a simple dish. Um, it, mainly because of the technique and the timing wise. So don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Uh, let's go. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use two eggs because uh, this is like for one person. If you're cooking for more people, you can always use more eggs. So, um, yep, let's go. Don't worry about the egg yolk breaking because I'm actually going to stir it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to beat this egg up and stir it well. So once it's like this creamy, milky colour, you it should be enough. So you put it aside. And then you bring your pan. You turn on the heat and then put some oil in it so you sort of cook the oil for a while. So you can actually feel the pan whether it's hot enough. I'm using medium heat right now. I feel that it's the best uh, heat temperature to be used for this egg. I'm just gonna let it heat up for a while more. So how this dish works right is you actually have to like pour the egg in while it is cooking halfway you have to put your chopstick in the side and push it right to the middle and give it a nice swirl so as you swirl the egg will become like a tornado shape uh, Where most people like don't really get it is because um, they try to poke to the, from the edge and they pull in but they pull in towards the center uh, that wouldn't really give it a shape because you, it's not, there's nothing to connect it So what you need to do right is you start off axis so instead of pulling it to the center like this, you have to pull it like this. So it, it doesn't really touch in the middle and then you keep twirling like that. So that's, that's the secret of this dish. So my pan is hot enough right now, I'm going to put my egg in. Okay, so it's already cooking, so I'm going to start cooking from the side. When I, when I reach like this, I'm going to start twirling my pan and my chopsticks at the same time. So make sure you get a nice good grip. So you just keep twirling it and you will become like a nice tornado shape. So yeah, that should do it. That is a secret. So remember guys, don't pull it from the cent to the center. Right now it's actually cooking halfway so you can actually, depending on how much you want it to cook, you can actually leave it longer but I'm going to put it to my dish right now. So I've actually prepared like a plate of garlic fried rice here. Uh, you can actually add this to the dish. So yep, there you have it. You can see, oh, it's blurred. But you can see that it's very nice. It's one of my favorite dish to make because um, the ingredients are easily available and anyone can do it. I personally prefer this, um, it's not that I, I am like uh, short scenery but I prefer this over outside fried rice.
Mm. I wish you can try this right now. Because the especially the, the fried garlic which I put inside the rice brings out a very fragrant taste. If you're going to ask me why am I putting three times, because each time I put very little in it. By the way, this brand is very nice. This Thai chili sauce brand. I don't know if you can see it. I randomly bought it from the shelf and because I thought it looked unique. And it turns out to be very nice. Mmm. So good. Not sure sundry or what lah, but I wish you guys can try this one. So do try it at home and let me know if this method works for you. Um, if it does, I'm very happy for you. So you together we finally managed to figure out how to do this uh, egg, which took me many tries and didn't know because of that angle thing um, that actually changed a lot. It's a small subtle secret, but without it, you probably wouldn't figure it out. Hmm, and I'm done. That was a very delicious dish. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.